Photograph me talking to my sisters. Okay. This is my sister Anne. You'll have to come out here to see Anne. She's appropriately dressed for the day. She lives in Washington, D.C., within the shadow of the National Cathedral. Okay, now let's put on somebody else. Who we got here? Okay, this. What do you, who do you need? Touch screen is what, not what, working. What do you need? I need, I need to focus on her. Should be able to. Says Marie. There's okay. Marie, Marie Curtis. And Curtis. <clears throat> Marie is my sister, youngest sister, and her husband Curtis. They live within walking distance of Dupont Circle, Washington D.C. Oh, Hi, Marie. Hi, Marie. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go through and introduce everybody. Uh, and hey, Lori. Lori. My sister Can you Darcy. Close the blinds you. behind you. There's my sister Dorothy and her daughter in law, Maura. Hi, Dottie. And they are at the beach. Wow. You could walk out of her house into Delaware Bowl. I don't care. So we're going to start, and uh, we've got some people who want to leave early. So we've got some people who want to leave early. So I'm doing I'm going to put them on first. Uh, she just texted that she wanted to. My leave friend, her. former business associate Bob Adams. My visible guest. Uh, but but the camera's oh. in behind you. <laughs> Thanks. And, I just thought and you tell know. your little story. Yes, I shall. Uh, Bill and I, Anita, have been friends for 45 years. James, so, yes. You need to go to the same oldest. place as the camera. Whoa. Go oh, that's a good camera. idea. No, no, he's got the camera. I understand, but everybody's going to see the back of all the Yeah. Oh, he's coming yes. around here. Okay. Okay. That right. may, that's a good so, idea. Uh, Bill and I and Nita have been friends for 45 years. We were actually, Bill and I were actually in business together, and it's, as he likes to say, our friendship survived our business relationship. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've known each other for a long, long time. Nita was a dear, dear friend, and she, I, I can credit her with saving a part of my life. Anyway, um, I suffer from long-term intractable allergies. Well, about 1989, an allergist finally identified one of the one of the big problems I had. It was dust mites. And the way to control dust mites is to put a special covering on your pillow. And this covering is, um, I'm getting technical here, it's, it's a kind of plastic stuff, and it's impermeable to both uh, to, to water, but not to air. And so, um, dust mites can't survive inside this pillow as long as it's sealed with this material. Well, I needed a triangular pillow because I also snore. And so, but, but I had to have this, and Nita sewed this cover that's inside the outer cover uh, to fit this strange shaped pillow. And I, it, I'm still using it. It's just, it saved my life, saved my marriage. Uh, and uh, so, uh, speaking of which, let me conclude by introducing my wife. This is Ellen, Ellen Rose, and um, she has also been a close friend of Bill and Nina over the years. Yeah, since 85. Yep. Yeah, and so... Actually, um, actually, I met Ellen, Nina and I met Ellen before Bob did. Oh, oh, at the uh, Dallas Chamber Orchestra? At the Dallas Chamber yeah. Orchestra. Yeah. Well, I wasn't I, too far. I missed a turn and couldn't park in front of the church. 
So I drove around and parked in the back of the church and had to find my way down the hall. And this wonderful lady, uh, new to Dallas, introduced herself, and uh, we've been fast friends ever since. I didn't realize I met you before I met Bob. Yeah, it was. Forgotten. Maybe it been the first performance. Probably in 82, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, we, yes. Oh, she's going to show us up. Go. Yeah, I do. Uh, Nita brought her sewing machine over one day, and we had both picked red material. We were going to make dresses. And um, I needed to go to Joanne's to get something for us. And when I came back, she was working on a crossword puzzle. And not only working on it, but with pen. <laughs> and I saw that, and ever since, I've done the same thing. <laughs> I, I was really challenged by that. I thought that was really cool. So anyway, we, we love Nia and we miss her. Yeah. And our prayers are with her and with all who mourn her passing. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you. So, oh, we have, we have two new <laughs> arrivals. Excuse me for a minute, I'm going to introduce them to the company. Okay, I'm going to pause this. So you have to introduce yourself Here's some of the stuff that Mom made. It's a double base so we, wall we hanger. Started. James is showing you some of Nita's work. Uh, two years ago, Nita had a stroke, and we saw that as kind of an event that we would use rehab and medical care to get over. It turned out to be to be a process that disabled her and eventually killed her. So. We're having this little ceremony among friends and relatives, and uh, I would like to uh, get, oh, here's some new, another set of new arrivals that I've got to go greet. And, so this is and set number two. Number two. There's Roger there. Here's some of Mom's cut glass. I'll, take it. Thank you. I'll be taking stills of this stuff later. So we're celebrating. Where's the camera? <laughs> uh, we're celebrating her life and her love. And let's see who's next. Alicia, you could be next. Okay, I'll be next. I'll be next. This is Alicia Sparks. Alicia was the first uh, woman professional at one of the one of my clients. I've told people forever and ever, her boss didn't want to hire her, but the HR guy came and said, uh, times have changed. If she's not really objectionable, you have to hire her. <laughs> so, Nita made this hat for her. Well, uh, going back before the hat, uh, I was in fact the only professional woman in the building. And after four years at f &M Systems, uh, I decided that I wanted to have a child, so I got pregnant. And uh, the way all the all the guys knew that I was pregnant, we all went out to lunch together. And one day I quit drinking beer and started drinking milk, and they all looked at me, <laughs> and they knew. But uh, the point of that is that there weren't any women to give me a baby shower, so Denise and Nita gave me a stag baby shower. <laughs> and uh, uh, all, everybody else at the shower were, were men. <laughs> and so that, that, was, that was very special. Uh, but go, going, skipping ahead many years, uh, Bill and I at one point started having lunch together. I guess it was actually when I went to work for Bob Adams, it turned out we were in the same neighborhood. And uh, after, I don't know, a 
20 or 30 years, we started having lunch together. And eventually, when we both retired, Nita started having lunch with us. We had lunch every Friday. And uh, Nita noticed that I really needed a hat, and so she made this lovely hat for me, and I have worn it ever since. So I, uh, Nita was a very special friend. We, we kind of felt like we were sisters, and uh, uh, I really miss her, and I, I uh, feel sorry for, for your loss, too. So thank you. Okay. Uh, who's next? I'll go. Who's going to go? Patrick? I'll go. Patrick's going to go. So. Um, i got to grab this little painting here. Um, you'll see a lot of things. Mom made things. And when you grow up with her, you don't really realize um, that how extraordinary she was and able to do and make things. And because I grew up with her, I can do things. And uh, I've been able to do and fix all sorts of things. But this painting we took, I'm going to let somebody in here. This painting we took on the trip with us. And I don't know if everybody knows, but in